745 right now this morning we are talking about how to make sure you are staying safe as you work from home. The first step you need to do is create multi-layered security. Tyler Moffat is our cybersecurity expert with Webroot and he joins us again this morning. Tyler, good morning. So first, what is multi-layered DIP security? Sure, so it's the idea that um, it's not just one thing that you need to do to take care of all the security in, in, with the computer. One thing we found that was astounding is about a quarter of people don't even run any antivirus. So I know when you go and you buy a computer, it's got Windows Defender. Windows Defender has been on Windows since Windows XP, basically. And while it does an okay job and has gotten better, you're still five and a half times more likely to be infected if that's all you do, decide, I'm just going to stick with Windows Defender. And uh, that sentiment can't grow. You definitely need to buy a security solution. But the multi-layer part aspect to it is that you need to do other things as well. So one thing we definitely recommend is backing up as well. Only 18% of people back up their files locally and online. We recommend doing both. Um, very, very important. Uh, also, VPNs, especially during the COVID, the mandatory work from home orders. Um, you're, you know, remoting into work computers, likely handling customer data or personal identifiable information that you need to keep secure. So you want to make sure that that data is secure in transit and at rest, and then also implementing two-factor authentication. This is probably the, the best single thing anybody can do to increase their security. Because as we all know, a lot of people are using their passwords, reusing them everywhere, or have the same password for a lot of accounts, right? And uh, using two-factor basically means that if that account was compromised and some criminal had your username and password, that they wouldn't actually be able to log in unless they also had your phone as well, um, which is the, the device you choose. And then the last thing we recommend, lengthy passwords. Um, really, eight characters isn't enough anymore. They can password crack those in just a few hours. Um, length, like phrases, is probably the best thing to do. You know, a lot of people I know, they, they don't like the two-layer security because we're basically lazy, right? And you got to wait for them sure. to, you know, to send you a, a code on your phone or whatever. And so uh, they don't use it. Uh, we, we get the fact that you really need to. But if people don't use it, is there something else that, that works just as well or maybe second best? Um, okay, so this, if you're not going to do two-factor, then what I'd recommend you definitely do is change up your passwords for every s different account and maybe identify it differently. Uh, like, let's say your password is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Well, you, you could add on Amazon, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Amazon for Amazon, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Facebook for Facebook. That would be my recommendation, but I still cannot stress enough two-factor. As inconvenient as it may be, it really is only an extra few seconds, and it's usually only when you're logging into that account from a different location that it asks for that two-factor code. You can usually get away from using the two-factor code when you log in with familiar devices. So um, I, I do highly recommend turning it on for sure. I mean, think about locking your front door. You also want to lock your back door, your windows. You want to make sure everything in your house is protected. So there's a lot of things you got to be, be, you know, making sure secure with when it comes to your, your security posture as well. Makes a lot of sense. All right, Tyler, as always, thanks. Good to see you. Stay safe. Good to see you.